Welcome to Switched On, celebrating 50 years of LED lighting. October 2012 marks an important milestone in LED technology. So let's begin with the man credited with the invention of the light emitting diode, known as the LED, Dr. Nick Holoniak, the father of LED. Dr. Nick Holoniak was granted the patent in 1962 whilst working for General Electric as a consultant. LED technology is used in a number of applications across a wide range of devices. The LED is best known as the light next to the power switch or on off switch on an electrical device, the volume meter on a piece of hi fi equipment, as well as the technology behind the scrolling dot matrix display boards. More recently, the LED revolution has made its way into filmmaking, television, video production, and photography with companies like. Light Panels. Light Panels is part of the Vitec group and having one of the pioneering brands from the USA, best known for its Light Panels Micro, which is a small onboard light that you can attach to a camera, and also its one by one modular system, which basically is a 12 inch square array of LED lights that can be configured with other one by ones to give you a much larger surface area of light. From the UK, we have Roto Light best known for their ring-shaped LED light. As shown on the right hand side, the LED light itself does not have to be attached via a hot shoe. It can comfortably fit onto a standard microphone. We have Roscoe. Roscoe are best known for the light pad, which is one of the thinnest entrants within the LED lighting technology arena with regards to film and photography. The right hand demonstration not only shows the thinness of the Roscoe light pad, but also the fact that it's very cool to touch. And in this demonstration here, it's actually showing you a setup based around ice cream. Normally what would happen is that would melt. So what it's showing you is that it can be used for food photography without actually causing the food or the product to actually wilt under the extreme heat, normally associated with other lighting forms. Dado Light. They brought forth their product called the Leadzilla, which is a replacement for their popular Dado Light small series that gives all the flexibility and features of its predecessor in terms of having a spotlight that can either be used as a floodlight or, or a spot. The other claim that Dado Light make is that their Leadzilla product will last up to 70 years before being replaced. Next into the fray, we have Manfrotto going for an entirely different market, the mobile phone and tablet market. Whilst this may seem a bit novel, there is actually a practical application for having an LED lighting setup, especially for smartphones and tablets. Normally the onboard lighting or the built-in lighting that they have is very ineffectual in terms of actually lighting people purely because they're not configured for that. In addition, there's also a trend to filmmaking with smartphones and video journalism. So you also get a much better and more professional look. Other trends to be aware of with regards to LED lighting technology is the following. They're gonna get bigger and brighter. The two products in front of you are both award-winning products. On the left-hand side, you have the Anova by Rotolight and you have the solar by light panels. And this also indicates another trend and development known as HB LED. HB stands for high brightness LED. So expect the future for LED to be bigger and much brighter. The reason for LED's popularity is the following, which I'll briefly summarize. Low energy consumption. Many of the LED systems can be powered using either a consumer battery or a camera battery, so you don't need to be mains powered. Secondly, over the course of their lifespan, they're much cheaper to replace. For example, as I mentioned earlier, the Dado light claims it will last up to 70 years, so the cost of replacement over time is a lot cheaper. Increased safety. One of the things that LED lighting technology offer is the fact that you're battery powered, so there's no need for cables, or there is a reduced risk for the use of cables and people tripping over them. They're also a reduced fire risk as they emit a low heat output, so they're less likely to cause fire or burn things. You also have bicolor options. What this simply means is you can actually switch from daylight to tungsten very quickly without having to have two sets of lights or additional gels. The other thing is they're usable underwater. So there's many self-contained LED systems that can be used for lighting tanks, for example, and also many of them are also weatherproof as well. So they can actually be used outdoor without risk of electrocuting people. 
their durability. Many of these LED systems are built with ruggedness in mind. Also the fact that if they do drop, because there's no glass elements, the LEDs are unaffected as they're normally plastic based and they also are receded or recessed onto a board that stops them from being scratched directly. For 2013, we're planning on running a number of LED lighting training courses, workshops and seminars. Please get in touch at LED at UnitedByPhotography.com. That's LED at UnitedByPhotography.com.